beautiful friends. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumiere. My name is Claire Summer. I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading for you. And today's reading is for all soulmates in separation. So perhaps you've been through a breakup. Perhaps you're taking a break from the connection. Maybe you are even in no contact. So I've kept it quite open in the pre-meditation. Um, so just to allow the messages that you need to be able to come through today. So I'm going to be taking a look at future energies, what your person's thinking and feeling, and any advice from spirit as well. All right. But before we get started, I want to show some love to the amazing platform Squarespace, who I want to thank for being the sponsors of today's video and for making it possible for people to have beautiful websites without the designer price tag. Squarespace is fantastic because they have such a great range of sleek templates which are simple to customize. So you can just choose a design you love and easily tailor it to suit your business or project with absolutely no technical web know-how. This makes it a super affordable solution to give your clients a stunning window on your work. The platform has everything you need to get started with a blog, creating an online store for your work, setting up appointment bookings or creating members only content. Squarespace makes it easy. You can be up and running with a professional website in no time and then just set it and forget it while your beautiful site does all the talking on behalf of your brand. If you are looking for a place to put your website, whether for an e-commerce store, portfolio or blog, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial and try it out for yourself. When you are ready to launch, just head over to squarespace.com slash Lumiere to get 10% off your first order of a website or domain. All right, thanks so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Um, let's get on with your reading. I will insert an overhead picture of the cards, both with and without crystals, as always, so that you can make your selection in the way that resonates with you today. Group one is the turquoise, group two is the raw aquamarine, and group three is the smooth jade palm stone. All right, so take all the time that you need. If you wanna pause the video, you are welcome to. Um, just drop down into your body, and I ask that you choose from your intuition. Let that quiet inner voice guide you today as to which of the three groups will resonate with you the most. All right, timestamps are in the description box below this video. Make your selection and I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked the turquoise crystal. Such beautiful patination in this crystal. I'm really hoping to get some new crystals soon, but obviously I'm still in lockdown as I'm filming this, so uh, no chance at the moment. I like to pick my crystals in person, so hopefully soon something to look forward to. I will begin with your tarot cards today and I will clarify with your oracle cards in this separation reading. So we've got king of wands, you get two of pentacles, temperance, powerful energies to start your reading, queen of cups, five of pentacles, seven of swords, six of swords in reverse, ace of swords, page of swords, and then you get uh, five of Cups, King of Cups, and the Five of Swords as well to close your reading. So Sagittarius energy here. Um, Leo's energy, maybe an Aries uh, as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So that may resonate with you. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. There is this energy here of um, uh, kind of hot and cold with this King of Wands to the Temperance, I feel them like coming towards you, coming on strong and then pulling back. I feel like this is creating a lot of confusion. It makes you feel like you are in this energy of kind of um, not knowing where you stand, feeling um, like it's a bit of an emotional entanglement uh, that you can't get on to any solid ground or create a foundation. It's like you're getting into this situation where you don't even know which way is up emotionally because it's so confusing because of this uh, behavior where they're coming towards you and they come on so strong and it feels very intense, very beautiful, very loving. But then things either ground to a halt or you don't hear from them or they ghost you for ages and you just don't know what's what. So there's, there feels like there's a lot of up and downs here emotionally if that is resonating with you. I also feel like with these energies that there has been some indecision about kind of what action to take in terms of moving forward and that your person isn't sure what the right thing to do is. And this may be 
are reflected in their behavior. They know that they need to take action. It could be that they're juggling a lot, so it could be you, it could be them, that they've got a lot on their plate, that they've got a lot going on in their life, and they're struggling to have the bandwidth right, for this connection or for uh, finding the solutions to um, kind of making this work. This could be a message for some of you um, in terms of kind of creating some harmony, but I do see that coming in here. I see them being able to take action towards you to create some sort of harmony um, in this situation to stop this cycle of uh, kind of up and down or in and out so that you can get onto... Um, uh, just more solid ground so you can feel a little bit kind of safer in the connection so you can feel a little bit more grounded a little bit more balanced it may be the case that this break if you're on a break or in no contact is actually a good thing for both of you to what I'm hearing from spirit is to let the dust settle right to let the dust settle to let it all just calm down a little bit if it's been a bit um a bit messy right a bit on and off uh, a little bit confusing just taking that break to allow your emotions excuse me to settle down um may be of benefit to you uh, so i see that here in this connection now that there is so much love here beautiful queen of cups energy such gentle energy here um, in this reading so kind of a true genuine love here but it feels like someone is um, like kept out or shut out from that energy that love right so maybe um, you've pushed your person away maybe you've just been like you know if this is all you're going to give me this kind of um, you know, inconsistency, I think is what we're really talking about, then I'm out, this isn't for me, this isn't what I want, this isn't enough for me, um, and I'm going to be moving on from that, that may be a message for some of you, that may be how it resonates, but there's definitely, you know, it could be you, it could be them, but there's this energy of someone kind of, maybe it's both of you, just like feeling excluded from the warmth, the beauty, the, the bliss of these uh, loving emotions that are there, in this connection and that may be as a result of um someone's sneaky behavior with the seven of swords here you know it could be the case that um you've kind of pushed this person away or said no to this person for the time being to your person because uh, you know because of the way that they've been showing up for you with the seven of swords now it doesn't necessarily mean cheating it could do um I don't necessarily see a third party situation here. If that's the case, it's something you already know about. It's something that's gonna be resonating with you already. But it could just be like how they're showing up for you, you know, not meeting your needs, not giving you everything that you want. And so you're just like, well, enough is enough, or I just can't do this anymore if this is how you are gonna show up for me because you are not giving me um, everything that you know, we need to be able to kind of make this work. So there is this energy of them kind of uh, slightly actually um, taking advantage of your good nature, like of your beautiful heart, of your beautiful open heart space. And I don't think it means that they're a bad person. I'm not picking that up from the reading. It may just be a kind of unhealthy dynamic that they've engaged in. It could be an unhealthy pattern that has surfaced for them but there's this energy that they're kind of trying to they're getting a way of taking advantage of like because you're a lovely person because you open your heart because you're prepared to be vulnerable right that can get taken advantage of so i see that here a little bit i don't think across the board but there may be some instances in this connection or in your history together where they have taken advantage of your good nature and it may be the case that i'm getting this feeling that like you're just feeling like this isn't kind of working for me or it's getting too tough and you feel a little bit like enough is enough but neither of you with the six of wands in the reverse want to um walk away from this want to kind of leave this behind even though there have been challenges even though there's been misunderstandings right your person doesn't want to move on from this they do not want to leave you in the past and just be like well i'm never going to see you again I don't want anything to do with you. They're just like, they're still very much emotionally invested in this connection and they don't wanna, um, they're unable to. They just can't because of their strong feelings for you. They are unable to move forward um, in life kind of without you. And I feel like with this Ace of Swords, that truth is coming to the fore, 
right, is coming to the forefront of this, this kind of realization. So there will be this definitive decision. I feel like there's this energy of you kind of being in limbo a little bit, right, where maybe you've said that you've broken up, but you, you still feel that energy, or you've said that you, you're taking this break, but then you're still in communication. It feels like there's a lot of ragged edges here that it isn't a clean break this separation, whatever it is that's going on with you. And so you feel like you're in limbo. You're just like, well, I don't know uh, what's going to happen for the future. But there will be this definitive decision coming in in the near future for you with this Ace of Swords. A lot of communication coming in for you. And I think it's going to be very positive, right? I see them reaching out to you, you know, maybe uh, on the phone or through your social media. And they're definitely checking you out on social media, finding out how your life is going, finding out like what's going on with you, what it is that you're doing, what it is that you're up to, um, you know, how happy you are, if you've moved on, if you're seeing other people, this sort of thing. So, um, and it may be the case that that is one of the triggers for them in order for them to reach out to you. But I see a lot of communication. I see people in this connection being able to speak their truth and really just like uh, maybe this separation, this space gives you the opportunity to really kind of get to the seed, the nub of um, what the problem is or what the issue is or what kind of really needs to be said here in this connection or uh, between you both, right? Um, because they feel so, look at this, this five of cups, they miss this connection. They see you as a soulmate with this king of cups energy. You know, we've got the queen of cups and the king of cups represented in this reading. So, you know, that is a pair, but there is all this kind of other energy in between you both, right? So there is love here, but there also are these issues, which I'm sure you're aware of. So your person really misses you, okay? They feel they feel a bit sorry for themselves for some reason. I feel like uh, there's some regret here that maybe they feel like they've made a mistake. Maybe they've made a mistake in kind of pushing you away or in um, how it is that they've behaved or something that they've done. So there's this energy of them feeling sorry for themselves and the feeling um, that they have lost a lot by kind of losing you, if that is the case. You know, that they've lost um, your respect, your... Um, or some of your respect, or your friendship, or just your love, um, and your regard for them, right? But although I see, um, I see them reaching out to you, I see them being able to talk to you and kind of express their feelings and stuff, and it's like what they're saying is just like, yeah, I do love you, I do care about you, King of Cups energy, but you've got this Five of Swords here at the end of your reading, and it's just like, but they don't know what to do to make it right. They do not know. Um, it's like they're, very, they're kind of, what I'm hearing is they're painfully aware that there are these issues that need to be overcome with this Five of Swords energy and they're kind of, they don't know what the solution is. So they will reach out to you. They will connect with you. They do want to talk to you. They want to kind of feel those good feelings, but I feel like they're not coming up with any answers, right? I think you're kind of hoping, well, we've had this time, you know, maybe by now you know what you want or maybe by now you kind of will have figured it out um whatever the issue is but I see them coming back towards you and there's still this energy of just like well there's still this issue here there's still this problem I'm going to take a look uh see what you get on the bottom of the deck oh my goodness this is the fountain tarot this is one of my favorite decks you get the lovers so that is reconciliation that is a union that is union so I see you being able to, even though at first they might come to you um, and, and not have the solutions, that there, there are solutions available to you and there is a kind of a reunion here. You know, you can uh, get back together with this person and uh, continue these experiences, continue this relationship. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at your oracle cards. Uh, we have, I am so angry with myself. So I think we were saying that with this Five of Cups energy that there is some regret here um, in this connection whereby they feel uh, angry with themselves. You know, maybe they feel like, yeah, I shouldn't have behaved like that or I should have behaved a bit better or I did step outside my integrity and this wasn't for the best. You get this beautiful card, Third Eye. 
This is from the Vagabond deck, which is one of the Lumiere decks. If you want to check them out, they are linked down below. So this is just saying, I feel like you are very much connected in the 5D. You're very much connected spiritually. I feel like you're still, even if you're apart or in, you're in no contact, you can still feel their energy. You're still exchanging information all the time. It may also be that either you or them are dreaming of each other, um, that you're getting like kind of little premonitions, that your intuition is kind of really kind of digging you in the ribs and just kind of uh, giving you insight. So if you um, into what you should do or what you should say or what's going to happen, right? So listen to that spirit is really saying you know take that time to you know don't ignore it we are conditioned in our society to think um you know to to rely on the logical mind but spirit is really saying listen to your intuition uh we've got magical gateway from the fairies oracle deck i absolutely love this deck i'm really resonating with it um it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It takes time to boldly um, to step boldly forward without looking back. So this is kind of moving forward with this connection into the unknown. So maybe you just feel like things are up in the air, like we were talking about at the beginning, that you don't really know what's going to happen. You don't really know what the solutions are, but there is this kind of, when I see a gateway, this is kind of moving into new energy, new territory, okay? Okay, so and creating a kind of new landscape for yourself and this is what I see happening look at this we have the card please don't leave me um, so I was really picking up that energy from the five of cups earlier and you know you've got the six of swords in the reverse that they can't let you go they don't want to let you go they don't want this to be over with you we have the beautiful card grounded. You may be dealing with an earth sign at this time. This is what I was saying again. This is uh, mirroring this energy of this time, this separation, being able to um, kind of settle some of those um, emotions, some of the turmoil, some of those um, thoughts that go round and round in your head and just to get centered within yourself so that you feel a little bit more grounded. So when you do communicate to them, you can communicate in a way that's calm and measured and has a lot of clarity. So I think that is um, very positive. Here we have, I hide behind material things. Um, so this may be the case that your person um, you know, likes to put on a bit of a show with the things that they own, you know, um, with the clothes or the car or the house or the money or whatever, um, just to kind of keep people at a distance. Or it could just be that they're wearing a bit of a false mask, okay, that they're pretending that everything's okay, whereas underneath they feel like they're a little bit of a mess. Um, we have the card exhaustion. So I feel like this is where this five of swords is kind of coming in. They're just like, I feel like this has been quite a long journey of you kind of uh, doing this dance with this person or trying to figure things out and I think maybe uh, you're getting a little bit tired of it or they're getting a little bit tired of things as they are which is why it's so good that you are kind of moving through this gateway into new energy. So there is this element of sort of getting tired with the status quo and that is good because that can create a breakthrough when you're just like, do you know what, enough is enough that can create a breakthrough, that can create positive change for you in your life. And then we have time to heal and rise, which is really nice. So a lot of, you know, we've got this temperance card represented here next to the Queen of Cups, a lot of healing taking place for you. I think you're healing individually. I think you're gonna be able to heal together as well um, and rise up into this new energy to create something more positive together for you both so but yeah this is a healing time do honor that if you're in separation you're just really fighting it in yourself and just being like well when are they going to reach out or when is this going to happen honor that time and know that spirit is really saying this is your time to do some healing work to do some self-reflection and to get grounded in yourself so it isn't um a pointless or meaningless time that you want to rush to get to the end of just allow it uh to be and it will all unfold uh in divine timing all right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful time and energy with me. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Feminine Frequency. It's all about communicating with feminine energy, whether that's through conversation or over text or email or whatever it is, because it can be very hard to be understood 
or to create rapport um, through digital means when we're trying to communicate. So there's loads of good stuff there. It's for the feminine energy partner. There's always a feminine energy partner and a masculine energy partner in any connection. So check that out, loads more about that and everything that I have to offer over on my website, lumiertarot.com. You can find all the details in the description box, but have a lovely week. I'm sending you love and blessings in your situation. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care, bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two. This is for everyone who picked the uh, amazing and stunning raw aqua marine crystal. So let's take a look at your tarot cards to begin with and we will see what is going on in your situation, uh, this kind of separation that you are in at the moment, what's going on with your person, what they are thinking and feeling. Page of Pentacles to open your reading. You get Strength, Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Swords. Let's make some room here, fans. You get the Four of Pentacles and then Page of Wands, Four of Wands and the Hanged Man to finish your reading. So Virgo's energy here, Leo's energy, Taurus energy as well. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, that may resonate with you. It's always worth knowing your full chart and their full chart. There are lots of um, websites available where you can put the details in and then find out kind of what's what, where uh, your placements are and their placements as well. So that is always worth knowing. It's interesting here. I feel like your person is trying to get up the courage in order to make you an offer with this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. This could be um, like a fresh start or a beginning because it represents a little seed um, to be planted in the ground in order to nurture it, in order to grow it. So I see your person wanting to make you an offer. Maybe that's inviting you out for a coffee or a date or um, uh, a Zoom date if you can't um, be in each other's company directly but I see it here and I don't know why there is this reticence with them to do that maybe they feel like there is too much water under the bridge maybe they feel like you would reject them for some reason you know maybe they think you are not interested or no longer interested maybe they feel like you are out of their league um, or that too much time has passed I don't know what it is but there is just this strong energy here they're very curious about you they're very interested in you right and they want to get up this courage the kind of strength to uh, make you this offer, to be able to come towards you, like with their hand outstretched and just be like, you know, let's, uh, let's connect or let's do this or let's find out more. So yeah, I see that here, but I don't know what it is that's holding them back from kind of doing that, why they need this courage. I feel like they've got this fear of rejection or that like you won't be into it for some reason. Um, maybe you think, they think that, you're just not that into them or um, it could also be the case that there's like other energies in the mix right so maybe you're dating other people and so they think well uh, he or she's kind of busy doing that or uh, they're dating other people and there's this there's like a, an essence of it being a little bit tricky or a little bit difficult or maybe you're uh, friends with one of their friends or, or they've dated one of your friends or something like this that's a little bit messy not for all of you this is just a message for some of you that I'm just picking up on that this is causing this reticence that this is causing them to kind of hold back because um, maybe it's just that you've just come out of another relationship and it doesn't feel appropriate for them to ask you out at this time or to tell you how they feel so this is super interesting we've got the wheel of fortune um, the three of wands and the four of swords so I feel like I'm picking up that this is your energy I just feel like you've been waiting for things to change for a long time it could also be their energy that they're kind of waiting for the right time and they in their mind they always kind of think that it isn't the right time like we were saying with these other uh, influences these other factors or just their own limiting beliefs, this story that they've got going on in their mind, it's kind of never quite the right time for them to approach you or for them to sort this out, right? This is what I'm picking up on, but I feel like uh, what I'm hearing is stalemate as well, that things are kind of like, 
you're not making a move, they're not making a move, no one wants to show the other one that they care or that they still care, right? There's, there's a little bit of this energy as well going on here, so there's a little bit of a stalemate where kind of nothing's moving, but everybody, because we've got this three of wands, is kind of patiently waiting uh, for the other one to uh, be the one who puts their heart on the line, right? But I see a change in this with this Wheel of Fortune, this energy of kind of stagnation, of things being stuck, of this stalemate, of this kind of waiting is going to do a 180, it is going to change. They are going to be able to get the courage up to be able to come towards you. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like I'm blushing. I've got this energy coming up of kind of uh, wanting to blush, and I don't, I don't know what that's about, or if that resonates with you. Um, maybe you feel like you've embarrassed yourself in front of them, or they feel like they did something that was stupid, and they embarrass themselves. So um, it's interesting. We've got the King of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Four of Pentacles. They know what it is that they need to do. They know what it is that you want, okay? They know that they need to come towards you with something that is more solid, that is something that is kind of uh, more committed, right? That is like an actual relationship. So you can say that has that label of a relationship, not a sort of Netflix and chill or not a friends with benefits, none of this. They know, right, what it is that you want and what it is that you want as a relationship and your person knows this already and yet they're withholding it from you, right, with this four of pentacles. They know what it is that you want. You may not, not have said it, you may not have spoken about it together, or you may have done. Um, and if you have, it's very much at the forefront of their mind. Um, but again, I'm getting this energy of them kind of holding back. I don't feel like they're being withholding to kind of be mean to you or... Um, to be cruel in any way, but they know what it is that you want. And it's just like, they're either holding back from that or they feel that they are unable to give it to you. And there's this energy here with this King of Swords of just like trying to figure it out. This is like a strategizing sort of energy of just being like, well, what do I need to do or what can I do um, to get into a place where I can offer this, this more serious commitment um, to my person? So there's this energy, I don't know what it is that's holding them back. Maybe they feel like they haven't got enough money to provide for you or that you don't have enough resources together to create a good life. Or um, it could be the fact that you, they, they can't see a way of this kind of making it work even though they have feelings for you. They can't see a way of kind of figuring out how this could work for both of you because maybe you're in different locations. I'm not really picking up on that, but that could be the case. Or um, there are practical issues or financial issues or that you're going off to study something or they're going off to travel and they can't see a way of making it work. So they're just like, well, I'm not sure that I should really tell them how I feel or I'm not sure that this is a good idea that I should really do this because it's going to make it kind of complicated that's just a, a message for some of you that's coming through right now that may resonate with you but okay this is the breakthrough with this page of swords energy excuse me start again page of wands that um i feel them wanting there's a lot of flirtation here there's a lot of attraction here right um with your person and I feel them wanting to kind of, they are going to make action. They are going to make a gesture towards you. It might be quite a small gesture to begin with because they want to get closer to you with this uh, four of wands, right? So this is the 11-11 card. Look at this. So this is the gateway. This is them kind of like, you know, when they go through that gateway, they want to get closer to you. So I see them kind of... Being able to do that, being able to overcome whatever uh, resistance they have in order to kind of get closer to you. Um, and it's interesting because this hangman, you know, he's hanging upside down, he's getting a new perspective about things. So there is something about all this waiting and this timing and them kind of spending a lot of time up in their head and kind of figuring things out where eventually they'll be able to see things differently. Maybe they'll be able to see things from your point of view or maybe one of their friends might point out that, you know, they're being ridiculous or that life is short or whatever it is, but they have this different point of view and this is going to create a change which allows them to come towards you. So I do see them taking action. I just want to see what's on the bottom of the deck for you. Um, you get Knight of Pentacles, so uh, Earth energy here. 
uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, that may resonate with you. So yeah, they see things differently. They want to get closer to you. Definitely. They want to take, they want to kind of make the moves to get closer to you, whatever that is. And they are going to be able to see things differently. I think this is going to take a little bit longer. I still think there's, um, it's not that you have to keep waiting. I just think they, they're on their own sort of timing um, so don't wait for them you know live your life or whatever I do see them doing that but it's gonna be it's gonna be slowly slowly I think kind of any um, how do I want to describe it any kind of um, quick moves or whatever is gonna kind of scare them away they like to kind of take their time um, about things so I see that here so it may be slower than you want but I see them being able to kind of do that to be able to come towards you to make that offer and it's as a result of them being able to see things differently, like they have an epiphany um, where they kind of work things out. We have the beautiful, I want to be close to you. Uh, this is from the Wild Heart uh, Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks. You want to check out my decks, they're all linked down below in the description box. But this is what I was saying. This is exactly what I was saying in this Four of Wands. They want to get closer to you. Like, this is the inner sanctuary. This is like them wanting to kind of get access to your heart, get access to your soul. They want to get closer to you, like spiritually, energetically, and physically. All right. Um, we have the card influences. Uh, this is interesting. So they are spending a lot of time thinking about things. There may be other influences at play here, issues um, that they are worried about, which is causing them to be withholding, which is causing them to be reticent or to hold back these other influences. I feel that these are 3D world things. So it could be that they are, um, you know, still maybe they're getting a divorce or they're kind of, um, they've only just broken up with somebody or, um, you know, they're thinking about traveling, whatever it is, there's some sort of issue here, which is really at the forefront of their mind, which is at play in your connection. And that is showing up here for you. You get fear is an illusion. So if you are very much caught up in your head, um, and I sense this is true for your person, a lot of this overthinking that they're doing is creating, um, you know, they're making it harder than they, they need to be, or they're, they're making it a bigger problem then it needs to be there is a solution here, right? Uh, but also if you're getting caught up in your own fears, just remember fear is an illusion, false evidence appearing real, fear, false evidence appearing real. So it's easy for us to get caught up in stories of they'll never contact me, this is over, they don't like me, they've moved on, blah, blah, blah right, I'm unlovable, whatever it is that's going through your mind, it isn't true. So just like, you know, stick with the positivity, stick with what's um, the facts, what you know, and not trying to kind of fill in the gaps with things that you don't know. Um, appearances can be deceptive, you know. Not everything is as it seems. Oh, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So maybe they have let you go or created this space because they thought that there were... Um, issues that couldn't be overcome or practicalities or um, problems for which there were no solutions but there's this energy here where they just don't like to be apart from you where they they don't they don't want to be in this situation they want to be in a situation where they can kind of be together with you and they are really suffering as a result of that oh my goodness i am listening to my head not my heart this one comes out a lot i've got to say um from the deck, this is the Seasons of the Soul deck, another Lumiere deck, um, if it will come into focus for us. Um, so yeah, and this is exactly what I was seeing with this King of Swords energy. They're very much like acting out of this headspace, out of kind of being logical and rather than just following their heart, right, rather than just following and this is really what I'm seeing in this. It's all about logistics and strategy and practicality and um, overcoming problems and finding solutions to things rather than them just connecting to their own emotions, their own energetic body, their own kind of emotional landscape and letting that lead the way. And this may be just kind of part of who they are, but they're listening to their head, not their heart. Uh, we have my responsibilities are weighing me down. So that may be a factor. You know, we were talking about the influences in this connection um, that may um, be a factor, may be at play here. They may have some responsibilities. Maybe they're trying to pay off some debt. Maybe they're trying to uh, work towards a qualification or whatever it is. Maybe they've got a lot of family responsibilities. So 
maybe they're trying to figure out that stuff as well as um, kind of how to have a relationship in their life or how to sort this out with you, right? This is so lovely. We have the card Hidden Depths from the Fairies Oracle deck. I am resonating with this deck so much. I'm just gonna use it all the time. I just absolutely love it. It says, something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what is hidden, we can become free. This is really like resonating with me with this uh, hanged man energy of them seeing things differently, of something coming to light. And I feel like this is for uh, the epiphany that your person is gonna have where something comes to light for them. You know, maybe they realize that life is short or maybe they realize, you know, your value and how special you are. And um, that illumination is what creates positive change for you. Oh my goodness, we have the card clinging. Um, so they're definitely like holding on to this connection, right? They're holding on to you. If you still feel their energy, if you're picking up on their energy, if you're just like, well, this doesn't feel like they're gone or this doesn't feel like they're over, it's because there's like, they're still holding on to this. They haven't let go of you. They haven't let go of the possibility of this connection. And we have this beautiful card, Flourish, from the Vagabond deck. This is so lovely, very similar to the sun energy in the tarot of kind of flourishing. This is like very positive. I feel like maybe if your person has been weighed down by these responsibilities, has been struggling, um, maybe things have felt a little bit difficult between you both, this is a beautiful sign from spirit that things uh, can improve for you, positive energy coming in, and of ease. You know, when we think of flourishing, we think of kind of ease, of things kind of being easy and kind of graceful and feeling fun, and just kind of tapping into that energy of abundance. So, um, I see some easier times ahead for you, you know, finding solutions to those problems, being able to connect in positivity and in love with one another, all right? I hope this has given you some insight into your connection today, that it's given you something to reflect on. Um, if you've got benefit out of it, please give it a thumbs up because it's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on the interwebs. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful friend, Nicole. She offers energetic relationship coaching. If you feel stuck in a particular pattern or in a relationship, if you are looking to kind of um, heal any uh, childhood trauma or issues, then Nicole is the girl for you. She's very genuine. She is an intuitive herself and she can help you. This is what she specializes in. She specializes in getting people unstuck and she is magical at what she does. Nicole is offering $11.11 off her energetic relationship coaching. So do check her out if that resonates with you. It is linked in the description box, but I am sending you lots of love and blessings. Um, I have a good week. And I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumia. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful Jade Palmstone. It is so lovely and always reminds me of the ocean. Okay, let's take a look at the messages from Spirit regarding your um, situation, this kind of uh, separation that you are experiencing between you and your person uh, in this uh, current circumstance. You've got Queen of Swords in the reverse to open your reading. I do wanna put out a trigger warning for this reading. It's never my intention to hurt anybody. Just know that I always say what I see in the cards as a way to empower you uh, with the information that you need. All right, six of pentacles, you get the queen of wands, page of swords, seven of swords, nine of wands, queen of cups, eight of cups, ace of pentacles, you get judgment, three of pentacles, and the five of wands in your reading as well. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo's energy is here, maybe dealing with an Aquarius as well. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, that may resonate with you in your situation. If it doesn't, please don't worry about it. Um, we've got two queens here represented in the first part of your reading, Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands, that may resonate with you in your situation. I feel like there's this energy here where you haven't, and I feel like this is your energy, that there may be this kind of essence, if you look at things in the cold light of day, whereby you haven't really been um, speaking up for your truth. 
right, for about what it is that you really want, okay, how it is that your person can meet your needs, how it is that your person can make you feel good, or like when they make you feel bad, or whatever it is, or what it is that you want, or what it is that you want for the future. And what I'm hearing from spirit is like there's this energy of don't rock the boat. So there's this uh, fear of frightening them away um, by uh, doing something may that may be perceived as demanding or doing something that um, isn't on their terms. I feel like there's this slight energy of kind of um, accepting crumbs from your person and there is absolutely no judgment here from me about this but um the reason why that may be the case you don't deserve crumbs you deserve the whole cake with the cherry on the top i'm just saying that i'm just putting that out there just so you know just in case you've forgotten or you've got yourself into a situation um and it doesn't mean that your person's a bad person if that's all you're getting from them, if that's what they're showing up with, if they're not kind of meeting your needs or they're just showing up inconsistently or they're just showing up with crumbs for you and you're just like, mm, this isn't really what I want. Maybe you haven't said that. Maybe you haven't said, this is what I truly want. Or maybe you haven't even connected um, or kind of said it out loud, set that intention as to what it is that you want from your person, how it is that you would like them to show up for you. And then this may have caused an issue or a problem between you both. Maybe what I'm hearing is some resentment, um, perhaps that they're kind of not meeting your needs, that they're um, just showing up in an inconsistent way or just showing up with crumbs for you. But I see why you're kind of doing it because like when you're together, it feels very intense with this queen of wands energy just like i feel like there is a lot of sensuality here that it is red hot okay so you're just like this isn't a message for everybody but for some of you you're just like well when you are together when it is working it's kind of sensational it just like it feels very intense it's very passionate um and it feels very hot and like there's a lot of attraction here it feels very magnetic it feels very exciting is what i'm hearing so it's kind of like you're kind of in the game because there's something about it which is really exciting and uh you know am i going to hear from them what's going to happen uh when are we going to be together when am i going to have this experience again so it can be a little bit like a drug in that way not for everybody this is like a sliding scale this could be just a little bit of this it could be a lot of this this is just a general reading but there's just this energy of just like or it could just be that it feels really good so it could be that you have uh, allowed your boundaries to be a little bit flexible because you're just like, well, this feels really good. This feels better than anything else in my life right now. Or it feels better than any other relationship or any other connection that I've had or have in my life. And this feels good. And so um, you are more likely to um, have kind of flexible boundaries around that. And that isn't always serving you. All right, this isn't my intention to be harsh or have this be a harsh reading. I love you all so, so very much. This is just, you know, don't shoot the messenger. This is just um, the message that is coming through that maybe is something that's highlighted. If it's resonating with you, then it's because uh, spirit wants you to hear this message to kind of reflect on this within yourself so that you can be empowered, right? Um, this is interesting. Page of Swords, you know, they are checking you out on social media. If you're in no contact, if you are in separation, they're very curious about you. They want to know what's going on like this. But I feel like there's been some communication between you both at some point, you know, maybe when you're together or maybe, you know, during this period of separation um, with this Seven of Swords that has perhaps been unhelpful in some way maybe they've been drunk texting you maybe they only tell you that they care about you when they're high or when they're tired or in the middle of the night or when they're drunk and it's like not very um high vibe communication you're not really kind of getting anywhere with that and also this kind of keeps you in the loop it's just like you never get that chance to uh reflect you never get that chance to come home to yourself and feel what it is that you want in this situation because they're always kind of hitting you up with little messages or kind of things to remind you of them also this is just a message for some of you i feel like there's been some shady behavior and if this is the case this is something that you already know about definitely and it's just something that's being highlighted in the reading as a factor for you an energy that's at play um it's either shady behavior or something that you 
like that you don't feel 100% comfortable with or um, has given you cause for concern maybe to do with their communication online. Okay, so um, this could be, sorry, I've got to keep this PG and I'm just trying to work out what to say, but maybe they're connecting with other people online or on their phone or they're being a little bit secretive and it makes you worry a little bit and you're just like, I don't really know what's going on here. Um, you know, when, they, when you have been together, when you have been in each other's lives, that's just a message for some of you, but it's just like, with this nine of wands, it's just making you a little bit wary, a little bit cautious. Like, well, you said this to me last time and then it turned out you were drunk or you said this and then there was no follow through. So for some of you, this could um, resonate that they they say a lot to you. Maybe they text you nice things. Um, maybe they reach out to you like that. Maybe they just appear out of the blue with some message saying that they miss you or they're thinking about you. But then there's no follow through. You know, you don't want to look at words. You want to, or listening to words, you want to be looking at the actions. Are they showing up for you? Are they consistent? Um, are they meeting your needs? Are they being thoughtful? Do they follow through on what it is that they're saying? So I feel like you are aware now that you need to do that, that you need to look at the actions and not just the words um, in order to kind of be more discerning about what's going on in this connection in order to protect yourself, to protect your beautiful loving heart, um, to protect your energy, right? Doesn't mean that this person's a bad person. This is just kind of how they're showing up for you. And remember, this is just a snapshot of the energy at this time. It's super interesting, uh, you know, what I'm seeing here. So, your person does care about you though, Queen of Cups. So, you know, there is this intensity here with this Queen of Wands that we saw earlier, but also the beautiful loving energy of the Queen of Cups here. You know, they feel like you are like a safe space for them. They feel like they are home when they are with you. Like they feel like they can be themselves, like they can be genuine, um, or that they can show up as their real self. They don't need to pretend to be something that they're not. Um, I feel like your person is really hoping that you haven't moved on with this Eight of Cups because I do see them being able to come forward with this offer, with this Eight of Pentacles. They want you to accept them, but it's just like, what terms do you want to accept them on? Okay, not just on any terms. The terms have to be negotiated, don't they? But I see them... Um, they want, this is fresh energy as well with the Ace of Pentacles. It's nice to see an Ace in a reading. They're still connected to you emotionally. They're hoping that, they, that you haven't moved on because they want to make this offer for you. But they're moving towards this as well. They're moving towards this energy um, of being able to kind of make you an offer. Now, whether the offer is good enough, whether the offer is acceptable to you, whether uh, it feels good to you, that's something that you will have to check in with yourself about but this is what I see and this is so powerful because we've got the judgment they are waking up to this I'm getting a couple of messages coming through it's like this is someone who's hearing the call with this um judgment card so maybe that you hear the call that they you know connect with you this is the offer that they make you that they kind of uh, call you to hear your voice in some way. That's one message that's coming through. Something else that's coming through is just like they are waking up to the fact that they need to put the work in with this three of pentacles, right? They need to put the work in to overcome um, the challenges with this five of wands that you guys have experienced between you both. So I see them being able to do that. Also just like they're sort of waking up to the fact that if they are allowing other energies like a third party situation or if they've been chatting to people online, not a message for everybody, only if it resonates to you. They're waking up to the fact that this is causing a lot of drama, a lot of unhappiness and that it isn't good enough, right? So that's a message for some of you as well. I want to see what's on the bottom of the deck for you. This five of wands is clarified by the five of wands and the tower. Five of Wands clarified with the Five of Wands. So there is a lot of um, confusion here 
that needs to be cleared up, that they, they realize that they need to work on clearing up this confusion and the mess that they've created with this tower energy. It just feels like there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of mess here. This is what I'm seeing throughout this reading. And maybe that's how it's resonating for you. Maybe you're really feeling that now. Maybe you're sitting here thinking, yeah, this feels like a mess. I don't know um, what we can do. I'm hearing from spirit picking up the pieces as well. So, um, there may be a big, this may be the case why you're in separation. There may have been a big fallout um, or some drama in your connection and they know that they need to work hard in order to kind of, what I'm hearing is salvage um, this connection between you both. But I see them being able to do that. Let's clarify with your Oracle cards. We have, I'm sorry I hurt you and I have a secret. So... It could be that they were holding something back from you. You know, maybe they were being a little bit shady. If that's the case, this is kind of past energies. It's something you already know about, but they are regretting their actions. They're regretting what it is that they've done. Um, if it isn't a shady sort of thing, you know, maybe they were just their secret, what it is um, that wasn't revealed to you was just like, they were just holding back on opening up to you, on being vulnerable with you, right? Um, on sharing their true self. And you know, you cannot connect to somebody um, on a deep level if you are not prepared to open up in that way, to be uh, real, to be vulnerable. So, you know, things do um, crumble and dissolve if they don't have a deep connection. So there is this, there is this regret and that your person wants you to know that they are sorry for their behavior and whatever it is that they have done. Let's take a look. We have the card hidden. This beautiful image, this is the Vagabond deck. This is one of the um, Lumiere decks. If you are interested in uh, our collection of decks, you can check those out in the description box. But yes, this is just like, they're hiding their feelings from you. They're trying to protect themselves. Um, they don't want to be too vulnerable. And maybe that they've hidden things from you in the past as well. And this is what's caused this kind of breakdown, this distance, this separation. But look at this, we have the card Light from the Fairies Oracle deck. I absolutely love this deck. Um, I've been saying it in every single reading. I am resonating with it so, so much. It just speaks truth to me. Um, it says the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So if this feels like a dark time um, between you both, that things are a struggle, it's making me feel quite emotional actually that uh, you can allow the healing light to come in, compassion to come in, the light of truth, the light of honesty, the light of illumination to come into this um, connection and all you need to do to do that is just like set your intention just being like okay I'm not going to get too caught up in these heavy energies and perpetuate them I am willing right sometimes we don't know how to change but we can just say I am willing to change or I am willing to allow this situation to change to unfold but the light is coming to illuminate this um, connection so let's oh my goodness we have com confessions coming up as well. So again, this may be why you're in separation or the breakdown because they have confessed um, to whatever it is that they've been holding back from you. But what I'm really picking up on, it says unexpected message. This is so nice. So I see them being able to reach out to you with a message and uh, really being able to confess how they feel to you. Actually, you know, with this message, being able to tell you some of their truth. Um, to bring you closer together. And we have the card confusion. I'm not surprised to see this in your reading, you know, with this five of wands, there is a lot of confusion here, you know, five of wands clarified by the five of wands. This is really just highlighting that energy of confusion. Your person doesn't know what to do for the best. They feel very like confused within themselves. They're kind of dealing with uh, conflicting needs, conflicting emotions within themselves. And that this can show up in uh, your connection as inconsistent behavior, all right? So your person right now, they're feeling um, a lot of inner turmoil is what I'm picking up on um, in this situation. We have these two beautiful cards, I want you and I want to create with you. So this I want you really speaks of what we were 
talking about at the top of the reading of this kind of just uh, wanting you, wanting to be with you, wanting to experience your energy, that kind of intensity, and I want to create with you. That's like, you know, this is an indication from spirit that there is a future here. Creating together is creating a future, creating something more. You know, and this is what I was saying with this Ace of Pentacles. This is just uh, the beginning that you have here. And then you have this beautiful card, Deep Inner Knowing. So I feel like either you or your person at the soul level, like you know, you know already. You know what it is that you need to do. You know what it is that needs to shift. You know what it is that needs to change. You know what your person is thinking and feeling. You can sense that. You can sense their energy. You're picking up on this already, okay? You know what's gonna happen next. You don't even need to ask me. You don't even need to kind of tune into this video because it's like, in your quieter moments when you're journaling or meditating or taking a bit of time for yourself, you just already know. You feel it in your heart. You know it in your mind. You're connected soul to soul, heart to heart uh, with this person and you already know. All right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It's been a super interesting reading. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful time and energy with me today. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful self-study course, Manifest a Specific Person. I've created this whole course from the heart. Um, it is like, it's gonna put you in your powerful manifesting power. People have been getting amazing results of turning their situation around. Um, and being able to come into union with their person so that their person is chasing them and can see their value and wants them in their life. So check that out if it resonates. Um, it's all linked in the description box below this video. But uh, have an amazing week. I'm sending you lots of love and blessings. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye.